Hey everybody, how's it going? Hope you're having a lovely day. So over the past few weeks, I've been going over this Samsung case where they are looking to have a general exclusionary order of any AMOLED or OLED screen that's entering the United States based on a patent they have on a pixel pattern, which I went over in this video. I will include links down below to the 160 page complaint and the 12,000 page complaint. And I've also talked about some astroturfing campaigns they've had on Reddit where they do these AMAs and they delete over 90% of the questions and they also have these really weird posts that wind up getting upvoted by what seem like bot accounts. And today took the cake. There is this thing that showed up on Reddit. I imagine it was some sort of promoted post because it has no upvotes yet it showed up in my feed in spite of the fact that I am not a member of any of the Samsung subreddits. It says, hey Reddit, Lou here from Unbox Therapy. For those of you who don't know who that is, it's a YouTube channel with over 10 million subscribers that reviews tech. I've reviewed thousands of tech products on my channel over the years today, and today I want to answer any questions you may have about me or the tech I'm using, specifically the new Galaxy Book 3 Ultra. Ask me anything. Nothing is off the table. Now, the whole nothing is off the table is of particular interest to me since, again, the last AMA, Samsung deleted, I think, 93% of the questions. That entire thread is just deleted, 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 deleted. And the part that I found to be particularly triggering here was where it said, I'm Lou, and before I started my channel, I owned a computer repair shop around the same time I started my YouTube channel. And he's talked about this on his channel, Lou, later, how he used to have an iPhone screen repair shop, and that's kind of how he got started in being excited about technology in general. So it sounds like he had a business that started out similar to where mine started out 14 years ago, and now he is doing an AMA, seemingly in partnership with a company that is doing their best to destroy the very industry that he started out in. So I proposed a question on my community page, which goes as follows. As a man who got started in repair, how do you feel about Samsung taking legal action against 13 of the primary suppliers of parts for the repair industry and seeking a general exclusionary order of any OLED screen into the country, effectively pulling up the ladder on the industry that got you started in technology? This is something that I'm particularly sensitive to, given that a lot of the items that got me started in this business are just no longer options to people that wish to follow in my footsteps. And it's something I've talked about a lot on this channel. Back in 2009, it was easy to buy something like an LP133WX1 TLA1 for $60 and be able to fix a customer's device for $160, bucks, make $100 of profit when Apple was charging $330 to $700 to fix a screen. As time went on, but got a lot more difficult to do this. In 2010, the new MacBook Air came out, the A1369, and it was not until late 2013, three years after that device came out that you were able to buy an LP133 WP1 TJA for $72 to do that repair and you couldn't buy that screen one you know one at a time you had to buy them at 100 200 500 at a time which was not something that was available or easy to do for your person that was starting like I did with 200 bucks in their back pocket but still it was something that could be done now in 2023 we're at the point where if you're an independent repair shop and you want to be able to just do basic screen repairs on these devices the LCDs just aren't available. The supply chain has been locked down to the point where the only LCDs in the market are complete factory rejects that look horrible or use display assemblies entirely, which are often in just beat up condition or insanely expensive. So I'm already at a point where so much of that ladder of where I got to be at where I am has been pulled up, not by me, but by many who have done everything that they possibly can to ensure that these supply chains are not accessible by independent repair technicians and that people like me are not able to get the start that I did. If I was trying to start my business in 2023 the same way I was in 2009, it would never happen. And that makes me incredibly depressed and aggravated. But then to read posts like this from people that say they got their start in doing this type of repair to be actually just hook, line, and sinker. I'm going to take part in Samsung's AMA. Ask me anything. That's enough the table. All right, man. What do you think? What do you think about them going out of their way to destroy the very industry that got us started? This company is seeking to destroy the entire aftermarket parts marketplace over a dispute on a patent for pixel formation. And to be very clear here, they are going out of their way to say, we do not want to do any sort of licensing deals. We are not going to do any sort of royalty deal or anything else. We do not want to work with anybody involved. We simply want an exclusion on anybody being able to import AMOLED or OLED screens into the United States. There is no interest in compromise. There is no interest in licensing, royalties, or anything. They want to exclude any independent repair center from importing a screen to fix a phone into the country. How do you feel about that, Lou? 
I'm very curious. If nothing's off the table, I'm confident that we'll get an answer. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye now.